I could hardly even like go about my day the rest of the night without just like crying. Like I went to the bathroom a couple times just to like cry. <sighs> I'm like trying not to get emotional. Babe, something's on fire out front. Whoa. See, holy cow. What in the world? Oh my gosh, it's getting That is cold. boring. That is high flames, holy crap. <laughs> heartburn all night long and well I still have it it's like so horrible I'm not super set excited for today I'll let you know why in a little bit but right now I'm going to walk with my favorite person ready for a walk do everything to make this day better last time we went to the endodontist is that what it's called he wasn't quite sure which tooth was hurting and so he told me to go to wait till my antibiotics were done and to just like watch the tooth and see and so after evaluation I'm 98% sure it's the second tooth over not the back one like we were thinking in the beginning I will most likely get a root canal there today but the problem is the tooth back here on the other side is hurting just as much as this tooth so I'll have to talk to him about that and see what he says. I'm not super excited about Rook now. All right, well, that was not what I thought it was gonna be today, so. Another consultation, basically. Prolonging the inevitable. But the good news is, is this tooth back here, he doesn't think it's gonna need as much work as the tooth over here. But I can smile, and I don't have a numb face, and I didn't have anybody drilling in my tooth today. What's the first thing you do after getting back from not having to get a root canal? Pull the weeds. Pull the weeds from the cactus. This spigot right here comes from our hot water heater and it is always dripping when the hot water heater is going. Last year Johnny found my cactus and we had forgotten about it by the garden because the garden was not usable. Johnny was like, what are we going to do about this water dripping? And then we found the cactus and he's like, Let's put it there. And so then it doesn't get overwatered because it's a cactus and it doesn't need tons of water, but it gets watered and we don't have the drip problem anymore on the driveway. Honestly, I'm having a little bit of a rough day today and yesterday. I was having a rough day yesterday. We filmed, yeah, I'm, I wanna talk about this really quick because everyone thinks that because I'm a vlogger, like I've had comments that are like, oh, you have your life so put together. Like everyone thinks because I'm a, I'm a vlogger and I try to do a positive message, they're like, oh, like you're like mentally stable. I'm not, <laughs> okay? And there are things about me that I hate so bad. Like it makes me wanna cry. Um. Like I'm a very competitive person and most of the time I won't play games with people and I say I don't like playing games with people because of this fact that I'm a very competitive person. Anyway, when I'm at a party or something and someone pulls out like a like a card game or something, most of the time I won't play and I, I will opt out of not playing when it's at like family events, when it's like all of these things or anything, like even if it's like a family game. Like honestly, I'm still struggling with that today. Not with the whole game. I know it's like probably like it's the dumbest thing, but it's like, if you are, <laughs> this is gonna sound so dumb, but if you have issues up here, you know that it's triggered. I'm like trying not to get emotional. You know that like breakdowns are triggered by the dumbest things, whether that's a game or whether that's like something stupid that someone said, you know, it's triggered by the most simple things. And yesterday I just went in this tailspin of like, just going over all the things I hate about myself and like, just the fact that like, I've always hated like how much of a competitive person I am. Like it's always been something that I've had to like try to learn to control. And if you watch videos, you see videos where I get really competitive and you see videos where I don't have an issue with it. And I always have felt like I'm kind of a rude person, which I know a lot of people are like, oh wait, you're so nice though. And it's because I have to force myself to kind of be nice. I feel like I naturally am a rude person. I'm kind of a snob, honestly. 
I'm, I'm kind of a jerk and I feel awful because Ty gets the he gets the most just of me being a brat and he says he doesn't see it but maybe he doesn't maybe it's just me being self-conscious I don't know but I just anyway I went in this whole tailspin yesterday of just hating my own guts so bad and just like like literally looking in the mirror and being like man I hate you like you're the worst person to walk on this planet like I know I'm not that's the thing I know I'm not but it's just like again people who know know that it's just those little things that send you into a tailspin and I just like I didn't want to get out of bed this morning I could hardly even like go about my day the rest of the night without just like crying like I went to the bathroom a couple times just to like cry because I was having such a rough time not because of anything anyone else did here's the thing it wasn't because of anyone else it was all me and I'm taking responsibility for that the thing is I don't know what to do moving on moving forward because I'm like I could totally I could play games and there's days where I'm really competitive and there's days where I'm not and so I just had to sit and think about yesterday being like okay what do I do moving forward because I'm not the kind of person that likes to just sit idly without solving an issue I have this meltdown I feel like a child <laughs> like a toddler and I'm like I don't get it and I feel like everybody hates me and I know they don't and I know that's the thing I know they don't I know everyone's not mad at me it's just like the tailspin I go into of like I hate myself everyone else hates me I deserve it what can I do to change I don't want to be the person I am but I don't know anyway bear with me today <laughs> okay so Stubbsy has been pulling all the trailers all the ranch stuff we have a huge job, a huge task to take care of tomorrow. His white truck was getting a lot of miles on. I found one with, with a few less miles on. It's still you. We got him a different that, white truck. Was that him? Was that you? Oh, it was it? No. Dang it. So the other thing was is, is the previous owner to the other truck smoked in it like cigars and it was nasty smelling. How's this one smell, Stubby? Nice. Nice and brand new. Oh, yeah. This one's a pretty one. New ranch truck. Kind of. <laughs> Too good to me, bud. <laughs> what the heck is that? I mean, you can hear the sirens. Yeah, all over the place. And it was just way more black. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That's like so close, too. I know. Oh, wow. It's like went together. Mom, that small spot got bigger. I just got a Marco Polo from Branson and Mara that there's a huge fire somewhere. It definitely smells like smoke. See that black smoke behind me? That's not good. That's not good at all. I am gonna go check it out. I'm nosy. I don't know if you guys are nosy. I'm nosy. I'm a nosy person. That doesn't look good. That looks like a house fire. Oh yeah. There's a huge fire out front. Babe, something's on fire out front. I mean, not directly out front, but not out front, out front, but look. Oh yeah, there's tons of cars. Okay, so Branson and Mara were the first ones to see it like, mm -hmm. and tell us about it. And they said all next to it, there's just cars lined up and lined up and lined up. Yeah, because they're going, because we're not, here's the thing, we're not actually going to look for the fire. We have to go shopping anyway. I did want to see the smoke though, but the problem is right where the fire is, Branson and Mara said there's a line of just condos and stuff that they're probably not going to be able to get the fire away from in time, mm -hmm. which is so sad. Yeah, there's a lot of brand new condos right there. Oh yeah. Brand new. Whoa. See, holy cow. What in the world? I do kind of wish that we could go see it. My family has this weird thing with, and you've seen it in vlogs in the past if you watch Yaoi yeah, vlogs, but we have this weird thing of chasing fires. Hey, Az! Do you want to go see the fire? Okay, let's go check it out. Come on, we're going to go with Dad. Okay, we're on our way down, and from right here, it's insane. Front row holy chickens, crap. Man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's getting that is cool. horrible. Stop. That is high flames. Holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huge. This is not good. That is a big ball of flame right there. I mean, look. This is a building. Massive building. Look at the width of that. Those houses are pretty close. Careful. 
As you can see, this fire is so close to those buildings, but it looks like they got most of that portion of it out. They're down there fighting it, and it looks like it might stop at the river. So, dang, dangerous fire, but it looks like nothing major was damaged other than the trees. Ah! <laughs> it's okay, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to, I was trying to scare you actually, that's what I was trying to do. It's time for the meat to come off. Oh, it's beautiful. What you doing in here? Just waiting for my corn. Just eating time. Okay. Come on, come on, come on! Cody set up all of the lounge chairs out here. And after the night I had, I think I need a, a little snappy out here. <laughs> Go on. Yeah? Go on. <laughs> Yay! 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 He's out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Yay! 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 <laughs> Want the Bel Air? Look at that. Of course. Of course you choose a Bel Air. <laughs> oh, beach it is! <laughs> this is the good life. Mm -hmm. You want to see? You want to see what the good life is? This is the good life. Eating outside. Eating outside. So, inside. Lizzie and Savannah went to Mutual. And I had some work to get done, and so I Daddy, made dinner right late. Now, right now, it's a boys' night. For a second. So I made dinner late um, by waiting to put the meat on. Anyhow, the girls are mutual, and so we uh, got finished with dinner, and Kenyon and Az were like, can we eat outside? Totally. So we invited Sarah, and she's going to join us. She chewed a piece of my hair off! That's a big piece. <laughs> Where? What the heck? <laughs> You're a stinker. You have so much food. Why are you eating hair? What? Where? Does it look like... I mean, it's just a tip, but like... That's right so there! Weird. It's like perfectly cut! Huh. Nala! So, Zuri is in heat. She has been in heat for a couple days. My dad's going up to Utah County tomorrow. And so he's gonna take Zuri with him. Zuri and Mim are gonna be pregnant at the same time. So Zuri's staying in my bathroom. Hi, honey, we can't go out yet. So she's just staying in my bathroom because she can't be with Mim or else she'll go out of heat. She also has to use a towel because we don't have another cat bed. And also she's been peeing and stuff since being in heat. So we're just gonna chill in here, okay? Yeah, so we're gonna have her tonight. My dad will come in here at like 4.30 a.m. and he will grab her and he will take her up to Utah County to get bread. Or soon we can have two kitties. I mean, sorry, she's at Bre with Branson because he's her cat. He, she's his cat is what I meant. Anyways, super excited for that because she's literally been going in and out of heat for a couple of years now and hasn't been bred yet. So she's finally getting bread. Super excited about that. Anyways, we love you guys so much. And as always, you are worth it. Bye guys. Bum -bum -bum. Bam!